Saint Hugh's high school student, Tashai Munda, was destined for greatness. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Tashai Munda, the 15-year-old Saint Hugh's high school student, had several great moments that highlighted her young life. However, the one that stood out the most for her principal, Dr. Elaine Collinham, was when Tasha stood tall at her school's last award ceremony to receive numerous awards and was presented with certificate summa cum laude, becoming a distinguished member of the school's honor roll. But Tasha will never realize her dream of one day making a significant contribution to society. On Wednesday, the teen succumbed to injuries she received on Sunday when the house she shared with her mother and other family members on Racecourse Road in Salisbury Plain, St. Andrew, was firebombed, allegedly, by her stepfather. After spending three days in the Kingston Public Hospital, where she was being treated for severe first-degree burns, she died leaving her school family devastated. Her mother and grandmother were also taken to the hospital with injuries they received. Her mother, Shana K. Bowen, also passed away in hospital yesterday afternoon. She and her daughter had suffered severe burns in the fire, while Scarlett's mother received minor injuries and was treated and released from hospital. According to reports, the firebombing was done by Sudan Bowen, her stepfather, who is now on the run. Dr. Elaine Cunningham said it's painful because Tasha was one of her students who had personally expected to impact the world. Not just Jamaica, but the world. She had it in her. She was well on her way to achieving great things. A distraught Cunningham shared that Tasha had been on the honor roll from grade 7. She exemplified modest, modesty and willingness to do good work and also flourished in extracurricular activities. She was an active member of the school's cheerleading squad and saw her squad members were given space to do their catharsis and the Fort Farmers who were here came in to show their respects also, Dr. Cunningham said. I am particularly sad because Tasha was a very quiet person. She was well behaved, a diligent student who made the honor roll. Ever since grade 7, she was the top of her grade of 250 girls. And as you can imagine, great things were expected of her. It's a sad loss for this school. Former teacher Mineth Reynolds, the former Sunshine Girls head coach, described Tasha as an inf influential student who would be missed for a long time. Reynolds said she knew what she wanted. She was a dedicated student who was doing extremely well before all of this happened. She will be missed in more ways than one. This has devastated the school family, she added, as tears filled her eyes. The police are investigating. And I'm making a plea. If anybody knows where Sudan Bowen is, please report to the police where he is. He has killed a mother and a daughter and injured a grandmother, left the grandmother homeless. Report him to the police now. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.